I looked up the ridge from that lower part of the campground. I go, oh, what's up there? I saw that that big rock right there, as opposed to that one that I just tripped on. And uh, I said, oh, I wonder what's up there, if it's like a little place to sit or whatever. And check this out. There's another little campsite. I think I'm going to be coming up here. Nice and flat. A little bit more secluded. Still, nothing to fall on your head. It's hard to see it. This guy right here, this, this little tree. I like this tree. There you go. So, like, you'd be ready for Christmas. And then... If you want to have one of those little fires that you're not supposed to have, somebody's got this little ninja fireplace right here. It's kind of nice. Moon's still out, and a nice view of the south side of the canyon, still with a lot of snow on it. North side of the canyon, of course, without. All right. All right, here I am back down at the regular campground with my cool new pack that I got yesterday, Big Five on sale, because I'm cheap. I love sales. And with Camelbacks or whatever, hydration packs, I'm not too choosy. And here's my, in true Hobbit fashion, I'm having a second breakfast. These are chewy s'mores. The second best thing I've had today. The best thing was for breakfast. I had uh, what did I call soup tostacos? That's what I've decided to call it. Do you see that? There was like four ladies on horses came by, and one of them hit me with a mallet. They were playing polo. Coming right through here, knocked the knocked the camera right out of my hand. I don't see him. You see him? Anyway, toast tacos, soup toast tacos. What you do, this is the instructional part of this video. You take a can of uh, alphabet soup and you cook it, and then you uh, drink all the juice. So all you have is like the vegetables and consonants and vowels and stuff like that. And then you, you make some toast and you butter that toast, right? Because that's very important. I tried it without, and it tastes like a pile of puke. So you put butter on your toast, and then you take the, 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 the alphabet, the whole alphabet, A to Z, with all the vegetables, and, and put them on the toast, and then fold up the toast corner to corner, right? And that is like a taco, but made out of soup with a toast shell. This is going to make me millions. Soup toast tacos. That's uh that's my handy tip for the day. So here I am leaving camp. Bye camp. Just past a couple dudes coming the other direction. I hear voices down there. There's more people up. Oh. Can you see them? Nah. Not on here. But they're down there, trust me. But this has been like the first warm morning in a while, so it's gonna be a madhouse. I was gonna come out here for overnight. Uh, but I didn't get off work early enough, <clears throat> since I'm not familiar with the area. I didn't wanna come out here and do a overnight solo in the dark. So I just came out and made it a day hike. But I uh, got some good intel on the on the weather and stuff from Pharaoh. Pharaoh with two R's and I believe a, a double snap Z because he's kind of awesome. You should check him out on YouTube. On the YouTube. Because he's got lots of cool videos. He's always out in this area. But I'm just showing a little bit of the trail. Giving you an idea of how close it is to get down to the water. There's water down here. Right by camp. That's one of the nice things about it that I like about it is you don't have to pack in too much water. 
I've been up here once before. Mm, eight, nine months ago. There were a couple of guys camping up at Cedar Glen. And they said that this little stream over here, as far as they know, is running all year. They said they've been there in winter, spring, summer, fall, and it's always running. And so, it's always kind of happening if you've got some water. I'm going to stop talking now because these guys are coming up on me pretty soon, I think. And uh, it's embarrassing to be talking to yourself when you're running to people. It's even worse when you're singing. I do that sometimes, too. You don't see them coming around the corner. You don't even hear them. Because you're belting out really loud. Ah, uh, skinny. Bop, 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 bop. It's really embarrassing. Check it out, the moon. Where's those guys? I see them. I heard them. Bet they're hanging out at the water. That's where they tend to gather. I said I was going to stop talking, didn't I? Also getting over a cold. A couple of little sketchy, scree-y parts of the trail. Yeah, I deal with. Just gotta watch your step. Here they are. Morning guys. Morning. How you doing? Okay. Good. I'm doing well, thank you. Where are you guys headed up to today? You gonna hit, go all the way to the saddle today? No, no, no. No, just that's enough. That's enough. All right, you guys have a good day. I don't know, I think I made him nervous. Which is precisely what I wanted. That's, that's how I roll. Do you ever see this coming? You're in for trouble, man. I'm gonna find something to make you feel uncomfortable. All right, I just more, more than anything want to show you how close the water is. All right, bye. The parking lot. Remember earlier when I said I was going to be crazy? Check it. This place is packed. When I got here, there was that silver car right there. That's the end of the story. That's all there was. Everything else was empty. And I parked right over here. Now, this cat's waiting to see, that if, see if I'm going to get out so he can grab my spot because there's nothing else. Alright. And it's only like... I think it's about 8.30. So anyway, there you go. All right, this is disgusting but fascinating. Um, I was drinking coffee on the way up here this morning. And um, I remember back up at the... Man, I got to fix that crack. Up at the uh, camp, I was talking about my soup toast tacos with vegetable soup. Well, check this out. I had a little bit of coffee left in my cup this morning. And, oh man, look at that. I parked under the wrong tree. And um, I was going to drink the last of it as I'm driving down. I just, uh, just turned on a Padua off, the, off of the hill. And I looked down in my coffee cup and swirling around down there, I found, <laughs> I found a K. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure what happened. I don't know if it was like stuck to my nose or 
if I, it was in my teeth and I backwashed. I don't know, but uh, <clears throat> strictly out of uh, scientific interest, I, I show that to you.